Welcome back to Solarix. My current goal is to get to the Megalodon, and to do that I have to do a bunch of different stuff, obtain shuttle codes, communicate with the ship, and depower the laser cannon. I'm not going to worry too much about the specifics, but uh, just going to wander around and see what I come across. In the meantime, let's put this person down temporarily. Good night. Oh, oh okay. You think you would feel that? You know, I'm probably just getting my hopes up, but I really want to drive one of these. Aww. I really don't understand why they're here, though. Like, even if you started these up, I mean, maybe they're just here for storage and they'll be, like, transported away somewhere. But they're obviously completely useless here. We're in a huge ravine, there's nowhere to drive. And if they were meant for shipment, I, I don't know, it just seems like they should be in, like, shipping containers or something, not just unwrapped. See me? Hmm, maybe. Oh, it actually works. Thought we need a keycard. Is this like a locker room? Let's close this behind me. Don't want them seeing me. Ah, uh, just a health kit. That was uneventful. There's a little garage there. Might be something inside. Let's take out these people first, though. I'm like a ninja of the future. Knocking people out with my space blackjack. Space ninja.
your fate if you do not follow my orders. The same fate of every living being in the Ansira mission. And it could be the fate of millions if we permit the infection to spread to Earth. The ignorance of Mr. Hart and his mercenaries may have caused us our first opportunity to reach beyond the stars, if you'll excuse the poetics. Yes, excuse me. I'm under attack. Gregory Hart is still alive on the ship. I assumed he had already faded away. You know, I just had a thought. So Amy wants me to prevent the infection, right, so that it doesn't spread to Earth? Doesn't spread to other people? Well... Here's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking back to, you know, Shodan, System Shock 2, and... Well, I don't think it's a spoiler at this point, given how old the game is, to say... Shodan, Shodan is not exactly everything that she appears in the beginning. Well, in fact, Shodan doesn't even actually appear in the beginning, does she? And I'm just thinking. We know I is some sort of incredibly technologically advanced entity that is able to interface with the ship enough to cause it to malfunction. Because remember they said that it, uh, it knocked out Amy for quite a while to the point where people on board the ship almost, what was it, suffocated or something like that? Like it knocked out the electrical systems on the ship for a while? And we know it can make people sick, uh, people who are simply near it. What if it is either pretending to be Amy, or just taking control of Amy? And so it's speaking through Amy, and it wants it. It's using Amy so that I actually believe it and believe that what Amy is saying is the right thing to do, right? Because I, I trust Amy, because Amy is the the artificial intelligence. It's our artificial intelligence, you know, that we made to help ourselves, so of course I should trust it. But maybe it's just using it. Maybe what it's having me do, collecting all this stuff, is actually so that it can, I don't know, synthesize the infection and actually spread it, rather than doing the opposite and stopping the infection. That would not surprise me. Alright, so the lift is operable, but what's going on over here? Tools! Looks like, oh, incident report, Von Hefner, Alicia Kitchen, Sanford, Edmonton. At approximately blah blah blah, laborer Von Hefner violently assaulted anesthesiologist Alicia Kitchens and metallurgic engineer Sanford Edmonton. Neither victims suffered injuries beyond the superficial, although Edmonton's subsequent retaliation on Hefner has broken three bones in Hefner's left arm, as well as his collarbone and jawbone. Hefner is currently held in protective custody to recover from his injuries. Alicia Kitchens has been withheld from work for 48 hours, and Sanford Edmonton has been pulled to review the consequences of his actions. At time of writing, he is presumed to have been justified to act in self-defense. Notes. Von Hefner was carrying a small firearm which was used as a threat, but never fired. It has been confiscated and is currently being held by security. The location has understandably been hidden from this report. It is unclear how and where Hefner obtained the weapon. Yeah, so civilians are not supposed to have weapons, obviously. Well, I wonder if the weapon is perhaps the weapon that I found, or maybe there's another weapon that I can find somewhere else, if I look hard enough. There's gotta be some way to fix that and get inside. Can I, like, jam the thing in there? Uh, keep it open! It does nothing. I can't even pick it back up. Hopefully that doesn't screw me over. Ooh, 
Ooh. What the heck is that noise? Is that a helicopter? That's a really weird and unnerving noise. Dearest Che at team, and Bernard. I've just done a statistical analysis of the nitrogen oxygen levels in the biosphere over the past 20 years. Has anyone else noticed that the ratio is fluctuating way too much for a planet of this size? It's easily 400 to 500 times more dramatic than Earth. I'm finding it hard to believe that our readings are representative. They show an absurd conclusion. Do you think there's a fault in our equipment that we haven't noticed? might also be that the math is wrong. But if it's right, the kinds of fauna that Bernard was talking about wouldn't be able to survive under these conditions. So I must have made some sort of mistake. Can anyone look into this? Thanks. Wait, what? The nitrogen oxygen levels are fluctuating way more dramatically than Earth, and the fauna shouldn't even be able to survive in such conditions. What does that mean? I don't know what that means, like what... What does that mean? Either there's something wrong with the readings, or the readings are correct, and there's something wrong with... What? The planet? Are we all in the Matrix? Is this not reality? You ready for this hardcore hacking? Here we go. <gasps> Almost got it. Oh. 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 Okay, so I hacked the shuttle codes terminal. Does that give me the codes? I mean, what does that actually do? I thought I was supposed to get the codes from the guy. The guy who died? Or was in the process of dying? Didn't he have the shuttle codes? Okay. Well, it doesn't say get the shuttle codes anymore, so... Guess we're good. Whatever. Let's check this little garage out. Nah, nothing there. Is that like a nuclear symbol on top of this crate? Is that just like a nuclear bomb? What? Huh? What? There's nobody here! Uh, I mean... I heard something. I don't think I have anything to fear. Be nope. Secrets? Aww. Every time I think there might be secrets, I'm always disappointed. Let's look around the parameter before I go inside. Oh. 
I got your message. Everyone's hungry, I get it. Delays are over, and I'm going ahead with the launch. Hold on. Expect an unmanned shuttle in 16 hours, with an estimated speed of 1 kilometers per second in vacuum, docking time 3 hours 25 minutes. Unloading time 30 minutes with a cargo weight of 46 tons. Blah 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 blah, formalities, it'll be about a day. Don't start eating each other yet. Ha ha. It's not funny, asshole. Everybody's dead. Wireless firewall scrambler. Isn't that what I already have? Why is there another one? Could you have missed the old one? I guess. I think that's it for here. I think it's time to go across the bridge. Nothing at all. Nothing at all. Oh god! Please be real. Alright, cool. Jesus, that's loud! Fuck! Fucking hell! Why? Why, game? Why would you do that to me? Does that happen every single time I load in? It's gonna do it again, isn't it? realism. <laughs> He's like, I'm scared, I'm out of here. Nope. He just ran like 50 feet away only to just come back. What the hell? Oh, he's doing the shuffle. He's doing the shuffle. game's a classic. I love it.
These are ghost objects. They're incorporeal. I really am in the Matrix. Alright, there's gotta be somewhere to hack that. Come from exactly. Right there. Alright, so I haven't actually explored this part of the base. There's probably more people here. I should be careful. Yeah, there's someone. Okay, this is actually from Amy. Subject, mercenaries. Gregory Quincy Hart. As administrator of the colony, the orbital facilities, and the mission in its entirety, I demand that you relinquish control of your mercenaries. They hinder my recovery efforts. They will incapacitate my assistant, who I have given special privileges in order to fulfill the purpose that you refuse to comply with. I do not wish to continue this path. I do not wish for us to antagonize each other. No hostiles here. Do not wish for us to antagonize each other. Please, Gregory, call them off. And when she says, My assistant, who I've given special privileges in order to fulfill the purposes that you refuse to comply with, I'm guessing the assistant is me. Okay, what did that do? Now that I have the shuttle codes, I should head to the communication tower to establish a link with Megalodon. Uh, alright. Communicating. Communicated with it. Set a course completed. Now I need to head to the main base to deactivate laser cannon. Okay, where's the main base, though? Is that... that? I don't see a doorway. Let's look at the helpful map! Okay, that actually is kind of helpful now. But where am I? I know I went across the bridge, but to which side? Where am I? <laughs> is it too much to ask for a you are here? Oh, it says start location. And I went across... Oh, oh, I'm here. Yeah, I'm right here. Alright, so there's actually another bridge. Gotcha. To the east. Not that I have any way of telling where east is. Gives me a boost. It doesn't actually. But I like to believe it does. It's like rocket jumping. Alright, so I went... I came from that way, right? So this is the other bridge, I think? Yeah, this looks different, I think. Oh yeah, yeah, this bridge is way longer. Ooh. <laughs> that must be the laser cannon. That must have been what they used to shut down shuttles trying to leave. Shit, shit, shit.
He's coming, I know it. Closer. I don't know if I can keep this up. There we go. Oh god. I might have contact. It'll come back eventually. Okay. That was close. I really hope I don't die, because if I do, man, it's gonna be a lot of dudes to take out again. to be systematic and thorough. This gun really is overpowered. At least against the guard dudes. Not against the infected zombie people, those are really, really hard to hit. Well, not so much hard, just finicky. It's not like it takes skill, it just takes luck, it seems like. Did I disable them? I guess I did. Oh, he saw. Just talking about cannibalism. I guess they really were running out of supplies. Alright. Do I need a key card or can I just go straight in? Hold on, where's this guy going? Is that as far as it goes? Is this is where I'm supposed to go, right? Just need to power it down. That's probably it. That is a beautiful beautiful car truck thing. Again, I don't really know why it's here, because it seems like it wouldn't be useful in this little valley place. Huh. Look at this place. Look at its rust. Look at the wires hanging from the roof. Reminds me of you, really. Not really a reminder in the strength. 
strict a sense, but more like a very intense, visceral vision of what's to come. Oh, that's okay then. What the heck is this so short? Ah. I can't. <laughs> I'm freaking stuck in this tunnel. Are you. Come on. Are you kidding me? Okay, I can't get over this slight lip because I'm crouched. And if I uncrouch, I can't move forwards because I'm too freaking. Now I'm hitting my head. Are you. Okay, there we go. Alright, cool. Ah, game. Game, game, game. What is it doing? This isn't water. This is something else. It's sucking it up and then putting it into storage vessels. Why? It actually looks like those energy canisters, so whatever it is must be related to just powering the facility. Soil sample contaminants. Negative for cadmium, arsenic... Positive for copper and lead. Unacceptable. What's unacceptable? The number, the, the amount of lead? Yeah, I'm guessing it's the lead content that's unacceptable. I don't actually know if that's a high amount of lead. I don't really have anything to compare it to. I don't really know why it says times 10 to the 4th power. Doesn't that just mean add, move the decimal point to the right four times? Which would make that... 84,600 parts per million? That seems like a lot of lead. Yeah, that seems like an awful lot of lead. But I don't actually know. I don't think she lived. <laughs> I bet if I got near this machine and got into its pathway, it'd probably kill me instantly. I don't think I'm supposed to be back here either.
I actually got a decent store of ammo now. Amy Inquiry Log. Inquirer Gregory Hart. Tell me about yourself, Amy. I've heard little about you. I was first conceived of in 2110 for the express purpose of managing the software requirements of the Tau Ceti mission. Development was ongoing until 2127, when I achieved full self-autonomy. I had already passed the UTU test two years prior in 2125. I was installed onto the Megalodon, which was still under construction at the time, although I operate independently and can easily be separated, as was demonstrated in 2151 during the first mission-wide blackout. That's not really what I meant. If you ask me about myself, for example, I wouldn't start with my conception. In that case, I'm not entirely certain what you mean. In strict terms of the mission, I specialize in administration, with an elective class in engineering, subclass ge geodesy, in geochronology, information technology, structural engineering, systems engineering, an elective class in physics, blah blah... Theoretically, I could be classified equally well into any class or subclass, but there wouldn't be enough space to write it all down. Was that a joke? Yes, that was supposed to be a joke. It wasn't funny. Ha, ha ha, good one, Amy. Y yeah, that wasn't funny. Little bit of a dry sense of humor. From Gregory Hart to a- oh, is it gonna keep making that noise? Oh, hold on. Alright, there we go. So it's from Gregory Hart to Amy about Hefner's gun. Oh right, that's the gun that uh, they didn't know how he got it and he wasn't supposed to have it. Hello, Amy. We haven't yet been introduced, although we must know quite a bit about each other already. And yet, I'm not emailing you to introduce myself, even though I'm overdue for that. Instead, I'm e emailing you about the gun confiscated from Mr. Von Hefner. I was reading the report and connected it to another incident earlier. Now, you must be aware of most activity on the ship. That's your entire job description, and it's basically your identity, too. You're meant to know everything. Unfortunately, my mercenaries run off their own hierarchy separate from yours. It's unavoidable. You'll have to get used to it, I'm afraid. Anyway, we've had an unexplained decrease in inventories, weapons, and ammunition to the tune of one pistol and twenty-four clips. I strongly suspect that's where Mr. Hefner got his weapon. He stole it from my men. The implications are troubling at best. Cautious regards, Gregory Hart. P.S. We have changed the laser cannon access code to 2023. Make sure the entire network forwards the old code to the employees. Well, got the code now, but where do I put it? Pin code to disable, blah blah blah, and I have to head to the laser cannon building. Alright, so that must be another building completely separate from this one. Let's go! Feels like I'm going faster, doesn't it? Okay. He doesn't like me. I'm assuming they're incapable of opening doors. I'm certainly hoping so.
try a firefight. Alright, that was quicker. I fought gunfire with gunfire. That's probably the building right there. I can't actually fit through this damn hole. If I go this way, it's going to be too bright. Oh, actually, no, it wasn't. Oh, there's a spotlight. Laser cannon access. Didn't even know I needed an access card for that, but now I've got it. At this point, I have enough ammo that I kind of want to just go shooting people in the head. So where do I use this keycard? Oh, it's gotta be right there. Oh, yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Need to disable that. Or not. Wait, did anybody even hear it? Nobody's coming. Alright. Can I blow it up? Clifford Parr Infection. Vomiting, severe headaches, temporary sight loss. Oh, that's a reply to somebody asking, Hey, Raffi, I couldn't read your handwriting on the chart. What were the symptoms of Clifford's infection? I tried figuring it out on my own, but it doesn't match anything in the system. Right, vomiting, severe headaches, temporary sight loss. Hmm. So is that the infection that they were talking about? It's gotta be more than that, though. I mean, we're talking about, like, zombified people that try to bite people.
Bling, bling, blah, blah, blah. Oh my god, who cares? Pretty sure I'm supposed to be afraid of getting spotted, but not really. Not when there's nobody to answer the call. Enter the code. Oh, here we go. Wait, I actually have to enter manually enter a code? <gasps> it's the first time in the entire game. One, two, three, four. Damn it, gonna have to look up a walkthrough. Twenty twenty three. Objective. <laughs> that does not say anything. That doesn't say any. I, I thought my objectives were updated, but they're not. Or no, it says perform maintenance check, but yeah, other than that, it doesn't say anything. I've had back communications. Now to perform maintenance check. Oh, no, it does. That's weird. I thought it wasn't updated. Alright, communications tower. Where is that? I am here. Uh, I've got to go all the way back there. Okay. Well, should be no problem. I should be able to run the whole way. Blah, blah, blah. Oh my god. The guard 50 feet away doesn't care. I like to think these are speedrun strats. It's called the dead body boost. Actually, they're not dead. Although they really sound dead when you shoot them and they make a sound that sounds like a, a bucket of entrails being sloshed around. Oh god! Fuck! Fuck, what have I done? Ah! Oh, uh... Okay, well I was just talking about speedrun strats, I'm guessing this might be a strat, some sort of Half-Life 2-esque box boost thing, but... Um... How, how... Hmm... Does this game have fall damage? I'm gonna heal myself, so that I can maybe survive. Do I let this go? Maybe if I, maybe if I drop it beneath me, it will act as a cushion. No, I'm stuck. Oh God! Oh, 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 oh. I want to mess around with that some more, but if I die, I'm probably going to lose a ton of progress. So let's not do it. So simple that you didn't want to explain it. You never had the memories to start with. 
So am I one of the tangerine created soldiers? Some sort of a clone made in a vat or something? This must be the Megalodon. been captured but I'm free to roam do I still have my weapons <laughs> no I don't just my flashlight and my health potions I know they're not potions but they're health potions they're totally health potions even though they're not To Walter Terrace, that's that's me, right? I had a dream where I was not myself. I forgot it all except the eye. For who could let the eye slip away? I saw him out the corner of my sight. The beast. Man. Machine. Thing. And he smiled, I could tell. Through the curve of his gaze, empty. And I saw in there, I saw. I saw less than a smile. More like something bitter and sweet, like a grapefruit. Not that I remember what a grapefruit tastes like. I saw myself in that eye, bitter and sweet like nothing I'd ever tasted. And he saw me too. So he let me go with a warning. And a promise. I met an old friend today, and maybe yesterday. They locked him, locked me, all alone in that locked room with the locked bolts and craters unable to be siphoned, and my old friend went mad. Damn mad, which is a palindrome, of course, of damn n mad what? Oh. Oh, I see. For only grunts and growls and growing moans could my friend express. No words. But I still have words. I still have all the words in the world. And he changed his face for me, over and over again, until I killed him. Only the eye can see the truth, the past, repair the world. Only the eye understands. I saw him again with my smile again, each tooth gleaming, though I could not see his teeth. And, he said, you and I will cleanse this wretched world of death. And I said, a thousand times yes. There was a man, there's a man, whom I despise. For he has knowledge of the little things. The things that make the bigger things work. He fixes and he destroys out of hatred and anger. And funnily enough, obedience to her. I know he reads these words. I will find him and I will show him. The little things that make him... Okay, that, that is very, very creepy. 
He fixes and he destroys out of anger and hatred and obedience to her. That must be talking about me being obedient to Amy. I know he reads these words, yeah, so that's referring to me, reading them right now. But this is from me to myself? A different version of me to myself? They locked him, they locked me. Him and me seem to be the same person in this story. Sort of. Different sides of the same coin, I suppose. Hmm. Well, I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode. Bit of a cliffhanger. Not surprisingly, I don't seem to be exactly who I thought I was. I mean, I do seem to be Walter Terrace. And it did look, just based on looking at my hands when I was holding a weapon, it looked like I was some sort of bionic thing. So it doesn't surprise me if I was constructed or cobbled together or something. Or one of those tangerine things. So that's not too surprising. But there's obviously some weird stuff going on here with identity. I seem to have gone mad. Or maybe I'm sane but I once was mad? I have no idea. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed so far, and I'll be back soon.